why your friends are holding you back every time you hang out with them if you ever present any sort of idea or something productive to do they're always rejecting it because they truly believe that they can't do it themselves so they also want to make you believe that you can't do it either they want to bring you down to their level if you have hopes and goals and dreams and you're excited about them and you present these ideas to your friends and the first thing they do is reject it those are not your damn friends. They are jealous. Go test your friends out right now. Go tell them some crazy idea. Tell them, hey, I'm thinking of getting a second job. The first thing they say is, no, you can't do that. No, that's too much on your plate. All this stuff about how you can't do it, instead of motivating you or encouraging you or figuring out ways of how you can manage your time better, if their first reaction is to say, you can't do that, why would you want a friend that's not going to support you or encourage you to do what you want? Why do you want a friend that's going to hold you back when you have an idea in order to move up in life you need people that are gonna match your crazy you need people that are gonna match your delusions there's no other way to get stuff done unless you're dreaming big unless you are effectively planning how to get to your dreams and i've had so many friends like this that i've also recently cut out because it's like every time i present an idea the first thing i got was a, how are you gonna do that come on that's not possible like shut up like honestly tell those people to shut the fuck up just because i'm telling you something also doesn't give you permission to just start giving your opinion about if i can do it or not you're just there to listen to my ideas too like unless i ask for an opinion why the heck are you giving your negative ass opinion it's tough though because some of these friends you've had for years and years and years and years and years and you have this like weird ass bond but if you are trying to do things and this person genuinely makes you feel insecure stupid dumb unqualified to do what it is you want to do if you don't cut that friend off, they're, they're gonna hold you back. That friend is your biggest hater. Oh my god, we literally be friends with our biggest haters. And I don't understand why. Please have criteria for your friendships. If your friends are not gonna support you, you need to cut that friend off. The sooner the better and I will be here to party with you. Like, let's party together. Because I promise you, you will also be making room for new people to come into your life all this time and energy and stuff you're wasting hanging out and doing stuff with a friend that's not gonna grow with you you are literally missing out on like the other people in this world that maybe you've met but you're just not getting close to them because you're spending all your time with this other person so the second you cut that person out then you can spend time with yourself and then you can branch out to meet other like-minded individuals that you never got the chance to do because you were too involved in this other person's life, okay? Honestly, when it comes to friendships, cut out a lot of expectations from your friends. The older you get, you realize that other people have their own lives and not everyone is going to be dedicated to yours as which is healthy like nobody should be obsessed with your life more than you i think honestly we should spend more time with ourselves than we do hanging out with friends there are seven days in the week four days be locked in on your goals and your dreams and your shit like that you know for me personally one to three medium-sized hangouts in the week is more than enough because there's not enough time in the day i'm trying to do this and this and this and this there's not enough time to hang out with someone every day from morning until night and have an effective schedule that's gonna grow you. Like, grow you. Schedule your days out with you as the priority. Get your shit done first. It's okay to sacrifice some hangouts when it comes to being a better, healthier, calmer you. You're putting these other people's happiness over your own enough prioritize yourself sometimes most of the time majority of the time care for you this is gonna be a very hot take like so hot it's like gonna burn some people but please 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 only surround yourself with people at your level or higher please because if you're here why are you gonna hang out with someone that's like down here 
respectfully humans we follow each other no matter what you say we always follow who we surround ourselves with so if you're a gym girly you're hitting the gym three to five times every week all of a sudden you become friends with some bum couch potato guess what now your three to five days is slowly going from three to five to one to three to one to two times to once every other week because now you're matching this girly's level it's different if this person down here is looking up to you and wants to be more like you that's amazing but if this person down here is trying to bring you down with them don't be their goddamn friend please like for me at my level in my life now i will not accept a new friend if they are not eating right if they are not moving actively working out caring for their body if you are the type of person that's gonna drink caramel macchiaros for breakfast lunch and dinner and then complain why your stomach hurts literally you are not going to be my friend because i do not want to hear that fucking bullshit it is such a waste of time like it's so stupid why do you even want to be friends with someone that's not even taking care of themselves like that should be a turn off in your friendship okay it's different if it's a friend for a while and you see them all of a sudden acting up out of nowhere you can try to help them obviously but if it's a new person and you're pulling out your vape next to me every single day morning until night ma'am i don't want to be your friend you're an acquaintance because i've been there i've done that and those friends suck like get out no no you are not my friend friend if i tell you let's go work out let's go for a run let's go for a jog and every single time i ask you you say no i don't think you eat you wouldn't want to be my friend like you should be annoyed by me and another thing if your friends don't have a job if your friends don't have goals if your friends are not trying to get better i don't want to be your friend because we don't have stuff in common that's making each other grow obviously you don't need to have everything in common with your friends but it's different when your friends literally just hate on all your interests and don't even try to do what you like but they make you do every single thing that they like but they're not compromising for shit what kind of friendship is that because like they're not doing anything that you want to do and now you're just here and if you don't join in you're gonna feel like a loser because your friends are doing stuff you don't want to keep doing but if you don't do it then you're just stuck alone what kind of friend group or friends do you want if they're just gonna make you feel alone i'm sorry but those are selfish ass friends those are friends that just want you to agree and follow them and they will never ever ever give you the time of day to make you feel included or loved back they might say we love you we love you we want you we want you you can talk all you want but until you show the actions to include me to make me feel cared for and all this garbage nonsense babes you're just talking babes you're just talking to keep me around so what to have a ride to have an extra person in your group why you are miserable is because you're surrounding yourself with the wrong people you're surrounding yourself with too many people and you're not surrounding yourself with yourself enough okay now after this video i want you to dead ass write down what you want in a friend and what you don't want in a friend and literally put each one of your friends in those lists and if they are 80 percent of what you don't want in a friend babes cut them out cut them out because you literally figured it out by yourself like you did the math you girl mathed or boy math or whatever that shit if your friend isn't at least on that list 60 percent of what you want in a friend get them get them out get them out fucking open the door and tell them bye okay and lock the doors because you don't want them back okay okay this world is so big you're gonna meet so many people i swear to god you will i swear to god you will and you're just gonna feel 10 billion times more free and energetic and you won't be miserable anymore you can come back to this video and comment oh my god miriam i love this video so much because i just cut out two of my friends and now i am so much happier like i know you're gonna come back and type that shit because i know you're gonna feel 10 times better when you cut out that bad friend group or friend i swear you're gonna feel better
<sighs> I screwed myself into a literal migraine, guys. Oh my god, I can't wait to go home. I love you so much.